I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Hello everyone, Thomas here. I know we just recently did another um, commentary. I am kind of so excited for the new stuff that I kind of want to burn through the season five commentary a little bit. And I think I'm going to take a break from Wink's commentary for a while to focus on other things. Just because it was fun going through seasons five and six. It was a really nice, fun time, but I feel like it's time for like a little bit of a shift. And also if we keep going at this rate, we're going to burn through like literally every single season in like a year. And no, no, I want to enjoy this. So I don't know. Let me know what other kind of Winx content you would enjoy in the gaps between like, you know, this and the next commentary. Uh, look for some of my other stuff that I'm going to be doing, like fairy tale stuff, avatar stuff. I've kind of been considering, for those of you who don't know, I used to have like a, a gaming channel like eons ago. Mostly I use it to just browse YouTube personally because I need as many buffers between this and my work as possible to keep me sane. But I did Let's Plays of several games, including Kingdom Hearts. And I don't know, I just kind of want to revisit Kingdom Hearts and like break down why I love the older games and why the newer games are kind of eh. And I'm thinking maybe video essays on that, commentaries. I don't know. I'm just, I, I really want to do other stuff. And then I also kind of want to branch out into some non-animated stuff, which seems scary because it's so out of my wheelhouse, but I really come to enjoy channels like uh, David or Alanda Parker, and, you know, watching, giving commentary to horror movies. If if you watch David, you know I'm, I'm borrowing some of his editing style for my videos. And I've just been really enjoying so many horror movies like Hereditary or Get Out or The Menu. The Menu isn't really horror, but like as an artist, it spoke to me in a way I did not expect. And I don't know, I, th I think that would be fun. I just kind of want to just throw shit at the wall and see what works. And I'm kind of at a point where I'm like, it might not do all that well, but fuck it, worth a shot. <laughs> but yeah, I know if you're here mostly for Wink stuff, that's probably not going to be up your wheelhouse. But, you know, I would appreciate you trying, you know, it out with me when I do release that stuff. Because it's important to expand your media diet. So that way you're not one of the 15 jackasses screaming about the new Scooby-Doo cartoon because... I don't know, it has brown people in it. I don't know, like, it's give, it's giving sacrificial trash, you know, like that video by Sarah Z, where it's like, yeah, it's, it's not a good show, but like, do we need to be screaming into the void about it? And also, like, really not a great way to veil your racism, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> we continue our season five journey with far away reflections. I'm really not sure why this episode is called that. I think I know why, but like, it's very tangential. Fucking idiot. You and I, together, I see. Together, Tritanus. That is disgusting. Ew. Oh, if I hear that together thing one more time, I'm gonna hurl. Bitch, me too. The fuck? Okay, here's what I'm not getting. Tritana says the seal, what's stopping the wings from coming here, kicking everyone's asses and getting the seal back? I mean, we, we easily could. Why are we only on the defensive, acting only when Tritanus attacks something? Are you speaking to moi? She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. He will destroy himself and all of us in the infinite ocean. Let me pretend I care. Okay, I'm done. Poor Daphne. Seeing her treated like this, it's really ruining the importance of her character that she once had. But the guardian of the flame tricked them. That nymph hid the dragon fire inside the heir to the kingdom's throne. Three days later. <laughs> like, oh my God, they made her so pathetic. Imagine the nymph of Domino being defeated by a trash merman. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Ugh, God. I assume this t means it's time for more filler because he needs his garbage back. <laughs> that is correct. Is it me or are they really dragging this out? Like, I, I don't like all these shots of Daphne, like, struggling and screaming. I... What was that? I feel uncomfortable. I feel a need to call the police. <sighs> Bloom! FBI, open up! 
Flashback. What's stopping the wings from coming here, kicking everyone's asses, and getting the seal back? The seal of the pillar of light! FBI, open up! Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. It, it's also so annoying that Tritanus doesn't seem to realize that inserting uh, a seal to the throne is going to, like, fuck him up real bad. Because every time he gets a seal, it happens. And then he has to, like, go get polluted again because we need a way to pad out this season. <laughs> no! I hate it when this happens. Bitch, me too! And this episode in general, it feels like it's taking forever with each of its scenes. There's so many awkward pauses or, like, shots that go on for way too long. Redundant dialogue. Tritanus has taken my powers. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock! Daphne, we, we know that you're his prisoner. Tritanus has taken Daphne prisoner. Oh no. We've been new. I am his prisoner. Prisoner locked up, can't get you off my mind. Shining above and below, the eye of inspiration lights Althea. To find the pillars, you must find the eye. Why do we have a map of the infinite ocean at Althea? I don't understand. And also like, uh, I, we kind of knew about the pillars, so. <laughs> Oh, poor Kiko. Just getting fucking yeeted everywhere. Okay, but I really am appreciating the designs of the dorms, especially like those flower lights. Those were so cute. Do we have to do this right now? Can this not wait until morning? You do know it's the middle of the night, right? Meet me at midnight. We've got work to do! This is me when I, I'm i working on a Blender project I'm really excited about at like 1 or 2 a.m. And I know I should be in bed, but I I, I just, I, I'm not. <laughs> it's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? Oh, Titanus, lean on me. <laughs> no more. Has Tritanus just been floating there for like the past five minutes? Why is everyone freaking just sitting around doing nothing this episode? Get your fucking ass up and work. Weakling. Loser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only two more to go. Please stop saying things we already know. You should ditch him before it's too late. Darcy and Stormy have sense. I'll never abandon Tritanus. But I can do without the two of you. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Is it me or does Icy sound like a petulant fucking child? Jesus Christ. And that Daphne is a big fat liar. You're acting like a three-year-old. That Daphne is a big fat liar. Yeah, the same ruthless Icy we once knew. Sure. Sure, Jan. Okay, Winx, let's find the Eye of Inspiration. Stella with her pillow still. Uh, same girl, fucking same. Okay, but the season five pajamas are so cute. I love them. Tiger's eye. Dragon's eye. Laser eye. Eye eye. In your eye. Shut the fuck up, woman! Okay, we get the joke. Dead eye. Black eye. Stink eye. Eye eye eye. Okay, but... Flora and Techna were the only funny ones during that whole bit. Harry Eyeball? The season was written by Blue's Clues writers, you say? I never would have guessed. I'm just so alarmed that there are so many secret Infinite Ocean things at this goddamn school. Like, what? Why? How convenient that they're all at the fairy school they refuse to leave. You know what it's giving? It's giving Heather from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, like, taking literally every college course that she can because she's scared of the real world. Oh, God. Do I have to sing an inspirational musical theater song right now? I just can't. What does the future hold? Which honestly, same girl. Our whole generation. Earth. <laughs> the perfect place for me to refuel. Because it's so polluted. They want to remind you that Earth sucks, which is true. This tree is here to remind me that everybody sucks. <laughs> Titanus, are you okay? What are these awkward pauses? <laughs> <laughs> Pest control. This guy stinks! She was real proud of that joke. She shouldn't have been. And that's the truth. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Now, what do you say we drop into your favorite spot? The fabulous island of garbage. It's what she deserves. Oh my god. They're really trying to drag out this goddamn episode. Like, nothing has happened. It's just filler so far. Like, really, when you break it down, the only plot-relevant thing that happens in this episode is they get the map of the Infinite Ocean, which, like, did they really? 
really need that? Wait, don't your Selkies have access to the infinite ocean? So like, couldn't they just guide you wherever you need? Show us the way, in hurry! Just get in touch with them and be like, hey, can you lead us to the other pillars so we can protect them? You don't fucking need a map. Have them draw a map. The Selkies can draw, right? I, I think? I don't know. Nothing online either. All that happens when you Google Cyrenics is you find the 5 million fan designs that are so much better than what we got in canon. Because as usual, it's the fans putting in the work to make this show good. Did I lie? Did I lie? Oh wow, it's like Ruby. <laughs> you in danger, girl. I'm still waiting for the Cyrenics Guardians to matter. So much redundant dialogue. That was not necessary. Big and round. And very bright. Tonight? Idiots! Let us repeat the words as slowly as we can. I'm stalling. Yes! Stalling? Stalling! The moon! Duh! Shut up. <laughs> Me when Stella forgets that half of her powers. The moon! I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Stella's like, the moon, fuck that. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, check it out! Oh, the well. It's giving season six energy, which is objectively not good. I mean, this is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like, this well has so many purposes that seemingly contradict each other. Like, originally it was access to, like, the tunnels that connect the three schools, and now it's like, this? What is this? So I am Confucian. This room is made of water. How amazing and how beautiful. Oh, I'm so tired, yeah. I would die. I'm so tired. I'm really tired. I will admit, it's kind of cool. I would be more impressed if I didn't notice that the background was just a, a gradient. You know what it's kind of giving? It's giving like the secret waterway in Kingdom Hearts, but like worse. Huh. Wow. I mentioned Kingdom Hearts earlier and then it became relevant. What's happening? I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. I should have an octane level. Ooh, okay, the Selkie village is very pretty. I like all the homes made out of like shells. Someone explain to me how the Selkie background characters look more individualized than the wing Selkies themselves. Also, the background Selkie's eyes are like normal sized, so like I'm not scared of them, but the wing Selkie's eyes, like Phyllis eyes are gigantic and dead. It's terrifying. Those will haunt my nightmares. Oh my God, what is that? Can you believe how many people turned out for this? It's wonderful. We are gonna clean this place up. Aw, oh, I love Mike and Vanessa being relevant. They're messing with my favorite spot, but not for long. How fitting that your favorite spot is a garbage island for one of the worst villains. It's giving, uh, Captain Planet villain. It really is. Oh my god, another garbage monster. I can't. How many garbage monsters has that been so far? And we're counting the oil monsters for the record. Oh my god, it's so goofy looking. Titanus is attacking Gardenia. <gasps> we're on our way. How convenient that they'll know exactly where to go. <laughs> Okay, but this transformation is kind of funny, seeing them all so tired, and Musa just nearly falls the fuck over. Same. Magic Wings! Cyrenics! Oh god. Fitting they're going to a garbage island in one of the ugliest forms I've ever seen. And I- oh! A lot of people have pointed out that Cyrenix is e way easier to animate, so like there was no way they were gonna keep harmonics around, but I'm like, see here's my counter to that. Cyrenix is fucking hideous. I don't care how easy it is to animate. It's it's hideous to look at. She's got a point. And like they were managing to animate Harmonix in 2D very well for the most part for the time that we had it. So I don't see a reason to throw it out. See, I like a lot of the choreography in the transformations. It's just the animation is, it's very wonky. It's very flaily. I don't like the way the puppets are deforming in a lot of shots. But at least they seem to have put effort into it, so. Just like everything else in this episode, that transformation dragged. Ooh! Now it's a party! <laughs> shut the fuck up, Lauren! Please shut- this laugh is going on for too long. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. This- this should just be called Filler, the episode. 
I see travel methods between worlds still does not matter, so that's great. They just showed up. And we will take care of the pillar of balance. Lies, lies, and more lies. Not for two more episodes, no. Let's go get him! Come on! Stella, monster! Oh, right. You can't split up. Like, half of you go after Tritanus, the other half handles the monster. How do we fight it? Cyrenix is worthless. So many awkward pauses. How convenient that that worked. I don't know, I just, uh, I don't care. Cause that monster didn't mean anything. That was so boring. We'll go through the earth gate to the infinite ocean. And the pillar of balance. Do it! Just do it! God, they're taking forever to do everything. You're kidding. Me at this whole episode. Look how powerful he is. He will be emperor and I will be empress. I don't trust her. I don't think she's a good person. God, the Selkies are worthless. Thanks for the reminder, Icy. We really needed it. Ugh. <laughs> Gag me. Yeah, he's so powerful. Picking on a bunch of water pixies. What a f villain. The Selkies! <gasps> oh, no way. What has he done to them? Is it really that horrifying? He just incapacitated them. That's not really that scary. I won't let him get away again. You just did. I don't know why they're treating this like such a, a big deal. Like what they're acting like the Selkies are like on the on the verge of death. But like they're they're not. They were just like grabbed by pollution. That's that's it. That's all that happened. Certain episodes you can tell they really tried to drag this out to 26 episodes. This is one of them. We will get him Will you though? Now we just need to clean Tritanus out of the infinite ocean. Okay, someone pointed this out. Like, you know how they turned the oil rig into this eco-friendly rig in the first episode? Nice work, Winx! And it's all green technology! Why couldn't they just do that with the garbage island? And also, like, when they were cleaning up the beach, they made the garbages magically vanish, which I wish we could do instead of just banishing them to landfills. But like, they, why didn't they just do that with the garbage island? Why did they just leave it? Like, come on, what? If the ancient power of Cyrenix can't solve that, maybe Cyrenix just isn't worth all that much. I'm just saying. No, I will not stop bullying Cyrenix. Not until Cyrenix does better, which it refuses to do. Anyone out there playing the world's saddest violin over me grieving harmonics, I will find you. I will find you. Anyway. Um, ciao. Anyway, so. We move on to episode 18, The Devourer. Another filler episode. This is just really just the filler hour. And it's not like good filler, like season two, where like we learned about Musa's family or like we got a bit more about Sky's past. This is just filler filler. Like we get nothing valuable out of this. So icy. What do you think? I nice, huh? What was that? Mm, very nice. I am disgusted. So much of this season is just telling us things we already know. Like, here are our next steps. And it's like, but you've told us what your next steps are like 15 times now. Can you just do them already? So just do it. Make your dreams come true. What's not to like? Everything. Would you like a list? Oh, I was so scared they were going to go by Daphne and Daphne was going to have like another monologue that was going to waste even more of our time. <laughs> What's that? This is unlocking my deep fear of the sea. I think it's kind of related to like a fear of voids where it's like you're scared of something coming out of the void to like eat you. I'm having flashbacks to that one Finding Nemo scene where the, you know, the whale comes out from behind them and like eats them whole. Don't do that. Too much orca. Didn't it sound a little orca-ish? It doesn't sound orca. It sounds like nothing I've ever heard. I, I'm so scared of something coming out of the distance and it's gigantic and scary fucking looking. Dark spell. <laughs> I have to believe that dark spell was a placeholder name that they never got around to giving an actual name because dark spell, are you kidding me? They really gave up. Darcy, come on! The woman was too stunned to speak. The way Darcy just stood there, I'm like, 
Okay, I guess her brain cells are gone. Maybe she did have a spell called Dark Spell. <gasps> when they inadvertently show the dangers of long hair. This is just comical. Okay, now let that shit just, just mutilate her white ass and leave. It's just a creature from the depths of the ocean. This makes me wish we had more of these deep sea creatures from the infinite ocean because deep sea fish are terrifying. And since the Emperor's Throne is over the abyss, I kind of wish that these things popped up all the time. Like if you hang out here, you're just, you're just gonna run into these things like regularly and it's terrifying. I guess the only inaccuracy is that it's not pitch black because the light of the sun can't reach the depths of the sea, which makes it even scarier. <laughs> which gives me an idea. Build an actual army of deep sea fish. The Selkies! Or that. Fucking idiot. Why do we care about them? You know what it's also giving? It's giving the Selkies just hang out in the infinite ocean now, and I'm not sure why. When it's like, if you want to avoid this thing, just go to another ocean. You know, like the same way that y'all hung out on Andros when you knew that Tritanus was lurking around. I swear, it's like these Selkies want to get killed. I mean, I would too if I looked that ugly. <laughs> We have training with Coda Torta today. He's supposed to be the best battle master around. Oh my God, Coda Torta matters. Oh my God, wow, I never thought I'd see the day. My parents have invited the sovereigns of all the realms to Domino. Don't you just wish that they did this with uh, Darkar or Valtor or the Trix or the Ancestral Witches or any villain who wasn't Tritanus? I mean, I get why. It's not literally about Tritanus. It's because Tritanus is an allegory for climate change and pollution. And the kingdoms coming together are all the nations of our world that refuse to help us because they're too busy enjoying capitalism to help. See, we would really love to help, but unfortunately the fossil fuel industry is just making us too much money to care. We're all screwed. <laughs> Whoa. You know, I don't hate these looks. I could see these in like an 80s music video and it's kind of giving me life. Haven't you already worn these outfits? Why are you acting like they're new? They're so hideous. Now, let's get politicking. Beautiful. I'm gonna use that phrase from now on though. Sure, let's invite the girl who worked with Valtor to our very important council meeting of how to defeat another villain. Sounds like a great idea. Hi, Galatea. I wish you mattered. We must determine how to face the gravest threat to the magic dimension since the ancestral witches. Tritanus. Death to all of them. I hate it. Tritanus is not that threatening, come on. So, not Darkar, not Valtor, not Mandragora. Jail, jail. I was gonna say the black circle, but the, they were only an earth threat. And I feel like the magic dimension is just like, we don't give a single fuck. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. Daddy. What was the point of that awkward pause though? I'm sorry, Stella, but your daddy is trash. He's trash. I'm not sure why Luna's here though. Cause like they aren't married anymore. She's not queen. So why, why is she here? Actually, I don't know. Like if you divorce the monarch, I, I know you're no longer the monarch, but like what happens to your status? Do you just lose it? Do you get a lesser status? Like, how does that work? I'm sure that depends on like the kingdom that you're in, but I'm just curious because Luna still is dressed like the queen and they're still pretending that she matters politically. And I'm like, why? Look! Oh, no! A devourer! Oh, Jesus. Is it bad I'm rooting for the Devourer to eat every last one of them so that I never have to see them again? Because I am. Die, die, die! I'm just so bored. And the action is so slow. I feel like I'm watching Ruby Volume 5. And I, oh! Well, at least this pretends to actually have a plot. So that's good. We're trapped! I look forward to your demises. And if you wonder if I hate you, Y'all couldn't have just gone to another world and leave this thing behind. Why were you in the infinite ocean anyway? Aw, the specialists want to pretend that they matter. That's cute. When was the last time we saw these guys anyway? Oh yeah, the beach cleanup. Don't remind me. Savage? Me when I think I've delivered a, a lethal burn. I assume it's one of the Pyros dragons, except way tamer because the Pyros dragons were trying to murder Bloom from jump. <laughs> they saw her and they were like, death. And its instincts are 
to fly away as fast as it can and incinerate you if you get in the way. I can't help but feel like maybe we shouldn't be training with this thing in Elphia where there are students who are continually helpless. Actually, yeah, why are we training at Elphia? Why not somewhere else that will be more suited to this? Why not Red Fountain, actually? I mean, this is cool, but at the same time, it's like we're covering ground we've already covered. Like, come on. Like, we should know how to deal with these creatures by now. Honestly, I think it's another symptom of the environmentalism in the season where it's like, we must understand the creatures of the environment if we are to save them. Which, like, cool, but y'all have done this already. <laughs> Oh my god, are they done transforming yet? Please, make it stop. Make it fucking stop. Flora, you try. Be nice to it. Well, okay. They really said, Flora, go out and catch the first sledge. Okay, Neon Slice looks cool as hell. I wish it did more than look like a giant contact lens, but at least it looks cool. Blooms like meet me outside so we can have a romantic rendezvous. And that's the thing about illicit affairs and clandestine meetings and- And I'm just like, girl, get over yourself. <laughs> oh, and, and they left the door open? Are you kidding me? Pigs. We must unite to beat Tritanus. You don't understand, my beautiful daughter. You are so young. What? What? What was the point of that? What's your actual argument, Radius? Like, why fight alone? Only the young, only the young. And here's also the thing. Tritanus is only really a threat to the oceans. He's not really attacking them on land. The only times that the kingdoms get fucked up is when one of the pillars gets fucked up, in which case, uh, why are y'all? We're like, we'll fight on our own, which is basically translating to we're gonna try not to get fucked up by ourselves. Because like, the, the Tritanus is not coming to you to fight you. Prince Sky, <sighs> King Erendor requests your presence in the council chamber, your highness. This bitch is getting on my nerves. Oh my God. God, I'm so bored. She's trying to come between us for the 5,000th damn time. And this is probably the worst plan she's ever had. I think it's also only the second plan she's ever had, so that's not hard. Girl, they've been through so much. They've been engaged like twice. They overcame amnesia. They overcame the potion that, you know, you slipped Sky from Valtor. Okay, I have to ask, do the writers think that anyone enjoys this? Like, do, do they think anyone likes going over this shit again? Tritanus is leaving. Wait, does that mean Tritanus was just chilling out for like the past 10 minutes doing nothing, just sitting at the throne? God, everyone is slow as molasses in this part of the season. Get your fucking ass up and work. It's also weird because he's going for the Pillar of Balance. So you think she would mention that too. Like, Tritanus is going after the Pillar of Balance, and he's also attacking the Selkies as a distraction. Like, both things. Both things matter. We can't leave now. Um, yeah, we can, if we mention that Tritanus is being a threat, which is the whole point of this council. Don't forget being nice to it! That's right, laugh it up! <laughs> Okay, that that was a cute moment. I I like I like Riven when he's you know teasing you know not an asshole. I think it might be the mustaches. She's delirious. Musa's snark is just on its a game this season. I'm appreciating that. It won't let anyone touch those tendrils by its mouth. Okay, this is kind of smart. I will admit I kind of like that. And also the fact that Musa's the one to like tame the dragon and ride on it. And I'm like that is my girl. Okay, but I would have laughed if the if the dragon crashed into the school, the wall gives, and Griselda's like, "Why the hell did I let you do this, Coda Torta?" That's my girl. Oh. Okay, so when Riven is not problematic, he's actually kind of nice. Thank God. What have you learned? I guess what I learned this week is that if someone tells you that you're beautiful and that they love you, chances are they're just trying to brainwash you into being happy. Don't let them. I have learned how to waste 24 minutes. How about you? The Selkies are in danger. That was the most awkward reaction, oh my god. Flora's like, um, do we have to save them? Can we let them die? Damn it! 
Vegeta! I get the signal. Blast that pile of rocks! I would like the Selkie strategizing more if they were actual characters instead of waste of time. God, I'm so bored. <laughs> like, this... These last two episodes have just been such wastes of time. This is where you die, girl. Wow, even Flora's Selkie cannot catch a goddamn break. What is this curse with the flower, girl? <laughs> Daisy Ree is like, I choose death. Me. That's gonna be me finishing this season. How convenient he didn't chew her up in a, a lot of tiny bits and then swallow her. Flashback. I swear, I swear it's, it's like these selfies, selfies want to get, get killed. killed. I, mean, I mean, I would, I would too, too if I looked, looked that, that ugly. ugly. <laughs> it's leaking pollution. Ew. Gasp. Imagine if it, they thought, oh my God, it's bleeding. And Flora's like, Musa, what have you done? How many times have I told you not to hurt the animals? Musa's like, Girl, it ate your selkie. And Flora's like, yeah, I know. I was trying to get rid of her. Because that is one big fish. Thank you, Catherine Obvious. Thanks, Musa. Genesis Blow! Deafening Corn! I forgot about that audio error. How do you... <laughs> Okay, the person who was editing this, how did you fuck up that badly to where you forgot who was who? I just, that's fucking hilarious to me. Who the hell is this bitch? If you want an example of how like no care went into the season, that. There's so many shots that just hold on for so much longer than they should. Oh my God. Form an alliance with one army to defeat Tritanus. How would y'all even do that though? It would have to be an undersea army. Do y'all have the capabilities for that? And how would you even get into the infinite ocean? I actually, I guess the Winx could just try to open a giant portal for y'all to go through. But Tritanus doesn't even really have an army, so he would get squashed within like five minutes. I mean, what can they even do really? Unless Zenith has like a bunch of submarines that we could use. Um, do y'all have submarines? Sky is crown prince of Arachleon. He must fulfill his duty and follow his father's lead. So Sky isn't allowed to have his own opinion? Okay. I guess nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. <laughs> God, I hate this conflict. Sky? What was that? Was that supposed to be Sky giving up and like following his dad's lead? Cause it's, it's not feeling like that. Like Sky clearly believes in doing the right thing. Obviously. I just I don't understand. And also it's so weird to, oh god, Ma where does Magical Adventure fit in this goddamn timeline? Because like, supposedly Ordell and Erendor were friends once. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. And then Erendor betrayed Ordell, but they made up in the second movie. So they're supposedly good now, but like there's no relationship between Ordell and Erendor at all here. So it's, it's very confusing because you think that would play into like Ordell being upset of like, dude, why are you not joining the Alliance? You already fucked my kingdom over once. You're going to do it again? What is the tea? The girls are fighting! No! <laughs> and also, I believe Oratel would be very um, upset if he heard how uh, Sky's parents treated his baby girl while they were gone. You know, how mean they were to her. You know, just, just a thought. Just a thought. Oh god, yeah, nothing nothing happened these episodes. It was literally just an hour of, of filler. That's the thing, because there are only three pillars, they need to like pad out as much time between them as they can. And they're not filling that time with actual like interesting character stories. It's just nonsense and errands and useless chores. There are some sprinklings of smart strategy here and there, but overall, no, no. I, no, I have nothing else to say because these episodes have nothing to say. Goodbye.